It's Alicia, and today I want to talk about different types of inventory journals. You know, there's movement journals, counting journals, inventory adjustment journals, and sometimes it can get really confusing on why you have different journal types. And specifically, I'm going to be talking about this from a finance perspective. So if you're in the finance team, um, so in other words, you're the controller and you're looking at your financials, you maybe have a particular interest in knowing why different journals post different ways. And so today I want to show, take you through Microsoft Dynamics C365 Finance and Supply Chain and show you the different journal types and where the postings come from. And I want to show you the beauty behind movement journals. I think you'll find it really interesting. So we're in D365 and we're going to start out by going under Inventory Management. And then you're going to notice there's something called Journal Entries. And then there's items, there's movement, inventory adjustments, and of course there's transfers and so on. There's also counting journals. Um, so an inventory adjustment journal and a, an accounting journal, their postings come from the posting profile. So under inventory, posting, and posting, if you click under inventory here, you're going to be able to see that you have your different inventory uh, postings. Let's see what this one's going to should be going to inventory gain loss. So you have inventory profit loss. Um, so again, you're posting, and so here again, you have profit as well. It's your inventory gain loss. Um, so when you do an inventory adjustment journal or you do an accounting journal, um, the system's gonna come here to determine what GL account is gonna post to. Now, the beautiful thing about a movement journal, if we go back and look at those, the system is actually gonna ask you what the offset account is. So when you do a movement journal and click new, and here you can actually set the offset account if you want, or you can do it on the lines. Uh, but let's see if we have one in here for scrap. Let's see if we don't, um, maybe like a quality. Well, it's a, of course, a quantity discount. Um, lots of times you'll have different GL accounts and this particular database doesn't have one set up, but you can set up different GL accounts for the different reasons on um, why you may um, be consuming inventory or um, increasing inventory. Lots of times companies will have a posting or a GL account set up for, um, again, scrap or damaged or expired inventory. So if you do that, then when you do a movement journal, you can actually tell the system that that's the offset account. So your posting is gonna be like a debit to inventory and a credit to, um, well, it's probably gonna be the other way around, you're probably reducing inventory. So it may be a credit to inventory and a debit to scrap, for example. Um, so that way when you look at the your chart of accounts, or you're looking at your trial balance actually, you're gonna be able very, to be very easily see the why behind your inventory change. Um, if you were to just do an inventory adjustment, it's gonna hit that inventory profit loss account. So it's pretty generic. Um, you can put reason codes on your inventory adjustments at the line level in the adjustments. So if we hop out here and take a look at an adjustment journal. I just hop into one of these. You're going to see over here that there is a reason code. Let me hop back. I think we actually have to personalize the screen to add it. Uh, yeah, it's not here. So if I right mouse and say insert columns, and if we go here and do reason. So now all of a sudden you have this reason code. And you can set up reason codes here. So that could be like scrap or expired inventory or something like that. And that's not a bad thing, uh, but the difference is, is it's in the subledger. So your reason for either increasing or decreasing inventory would be in the subledger data or on the journal line is not actually going to be in your trial balance. So if you want your reasons of sorts to be in your trial balance, I would highly recommend that you use movement journals and then you can set the, select the GL account based upon the journal name um, on the movement journal. So the next time you get ready to consume or add inventory through, for whatever reason, other than like product receipts um, or production, you may wanna consider using movement journals.